Lobbying is on the rise in the nation's capital during the Trump administration. A new study from the nonpartisan Center for Responsive Politics shows lobbying activity in Washington surged to just over $3.3 billion last year, its highest level since 2010. Corporations, trade groups, and other interests scrambled to make their mark on everything from fast-moving tax legislation to immigration policy during President Trump's first year in office. This after President Trump promised to drain the swamp during the 2016 presidential campaign. John Stolness, Washington. NASA is remembering the seven astronauts killed aboard the space shuttle Columbia 15 years ago. Columbia Houston UHF comm check. It was February 1st, 2003 when Columbia burned up over Texas minutes before a Florida touchdown. Seven we have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Relatives of the astronauts killed on that mission and others placed yellow, orange, and pink roses at the Space Mirror Memorial at the Kennedy Center this week during an official ceremony. I'm Clayton Neville. I'm Ann Cates. At the Home Depot, free carpet installation means free carpet installation. And free includes clearing out furniture, ripping out old carpet, hauling it away, even carpeting stairs with no hidden fees. Free installation on carpet 699 bucks or more means free installation only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Valid on carpet priced $1 or more per square foot. Specialty items may be priced separately. I met someone. You hear it a lot from people on Match, because more people have met their someone on Match than any other dating app. Everyone wants to find that meaningful connection, and Match is not only number one in first, but second dates, too. Now here's a free offer for our listeners. Go to Match.com slash search for seven days free. That's seven days completely free to search, view photos, and connect. This free offer is found at Match.com slash search. That's Match.com slash search. Match.com slash search. If you would like to become a wholesale buyer of the premium quality longevity product that you hear about right here on the Tantalk Radio Network for personal service, you can pick up the phone right now and call Lola at 727-441-3311. Again, that's Lola at 727-441-3311. Or for even faster service, log on to TantalkHealth.com. That's TantalkHealth.com. Here's to your health and longevity. Hi, this is John Austin, host of the Tan Talk Radio Network's book club, inviting you to join us every Tuesday at noon to hear talented new national and international authors discuss the books. The program features both fiction and nonfiction titles and is sure to add terrific new books for your must-read list. If you love books, be sure to listen every Tuesday at noon for the book club right here on the Tan Talk Radio Network. Hi, this is Tim Del Toro. And I'm Lou Angel Wolf, and we are the Grease Gurus. Our show is broadcast every Saturday morning live at WTAN Tan Talk Radio 1340. That's 10 o'clock every Saturday morning for an automotive forum that is flavored with humor and insight. We encourage you to call in and be part of the Grease Gurus show. We'd love to have you, and we will certainly help you find your inner grease. This show is sponsored by Tim's Performance Service Center and beautiful Tarpon Springs at 906 Verona Place. And you can reach us personally at 727-543-1601. Aha. Hi there, I'm Dr. John. And I'm Dr. Lisa. You have medical questions you never get to ask? Now you can ask us. After many years of caring for children and families, we've learned that the best informed families are also the healthiest. Are you saying knowledge is power, Dr. John? I am, Dr. Lisa, and since you're the smart one, I hope you'll share some knowledge with me and our listeners. <laughs> Let's do this then. Okay, we hope you join us every Monday at noon right here on the Tan Talk Radio Network for the Doctors John and Lisa Show. Listen online at tantalk1340.com. Show me the money. It's the Employment Opportunity Hour with Gene Hodge every Thursday night from 7 until 8. So the purpose of the show is to help you out there to find something that you enjoy doing instead of a job. And at the start of the show, I normally give out a formula, which I know will guarantee you to find the type of job that you want right now. Find out the formula to an enjoyable job with Gene Hodges' Employment Opportunity Hour every Thursday night from 7 until 8 here on the Tan Talk Radio Network. Show me the money. Hello, this is Pryor Smith speaking from Toronto. Again this winter, some 4 million Canadians are spending vacation time in Florida. 
Each day, they're continuing a 63-year tradition. Tuning in Canada Calling on radio. They're up to the minute news from home at 9 a.m. and 12 noon here on the Tan Talk Radio Network. Join us on WTAN AM 1340 and FM 106.1, WDCF AM 1350, and WZHR AM 1400 and FM 104.3. Tampa Bay's Tan Talk. Entertaining and informative radio for the Sunshine State. Initialize sequence now. Join the countdown for actors, modeling, singers, songwriters, musicians, dancers, performers, and voiceovers from across the nation to across the world. Here with Don Reese on Hollywood Connections on Tam Talk Radio 106.1 FM. Hey, this is Vern Troyer, and you're listening to Don Reese's Hollywood Connections. Hey, what up, you guys? It's your girl, Vivica Fox. You are watching Hollywood Connections on Tan Talk Radio with Dawn, the foxy thing. Enjoy. Hi, you're listening to Hollywood Connections with Don Meese, and I'm Kathleen Gatti from General Hospital, Dr. Liesl Obrecht. Hello, I'm Butch Patrick, and you're listening to Don Reese's Tan Talk Radio, Hollywood Connections. Don Schneider, you're listening to Don Reese on Hollywood Connections. Listening to Hollywood Connections, I'm Kirstie Alley. <laughs> you are listening to Hollywood Connections with Don. And this is Kelly Preston. I'm so excited. Welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? Everybody comes here. This is Hollywood. Land of dreams. Some dreams come true, some don't. But keep on dreaming. This is Hollywood. Always time to dream, so keep on dreaming. All right, it's Saturday. You know what that means. It's your number one entertainment show in the Tampa Bay area, Hollywood Connections. Now your host, the lady with all the connections, Don Reese. Lights, camera, action. You're on. Hi, I'm Dawn Reese, Hollywood Connections. In collaboration with VH2 Network, we are always looking for entertaining ideas and larger-than-life personalities that will become the next great television series. If you have an idea for TV or show or special, let us know. If you know an amazing character doing exceptional things, let us know that too. If you've been turned away from other networks, we would like to work with you. VH Welcome Home, your search is over. I'm Dawn Reese. Call 727-871-7788 and go to www.vh2.tv. Hi, I'm Dawn Reese, Hollywood Connections. And I'm Jennifer Hall, the mother of gratitude. Do you need an agent? Because we have one for you. That's right. We're casting all ages. Do you want to be in movies, commercials, TV? We have weekly auditions. We're looking for models, actors, singers, dancers, comedians, spoken word artists. And we're having weekly auditions in the beautiful Clearwater Beach area. So call now. 727-871-7788 and go to hollywoodconnections.biz. That's hollywoodconnections.biz. Oh, I got 
Hollywood Connections, and I had to play that because we have a reporter in the UK, that's CJ, and he came all the way down to meet us and spend time with us in the sailboat, and he's an amazing artist, and he's a part of our show. In the beginning, let me introduce my co-host. Hi, I'm Jennifer Hall, the mother of gratitude. That's right, and we have our junior preteen reporter, and you are? Mariana Lynn Tagato. I'm so proud of her. She's already hit film festivals and everybody, and she's here to host with us as well today. And let's introduce, uh, I know we have some VIPs on the phone. Yes, we do. Super exciting. Yeah. Uh, let's put them on. All right, here we go. Hi, welcome to Hollywood Connections. Hello, Don. Oh, first let's say hi to Andrew Heller. Yes, the gift of the heart, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Please, everyone. Hi, Jen. Yes. How are you? I am fabulous. How are you? Absolutely fabulous. Double fabulous then. Well, there you go. I'm very you excited about I'm very excited about your movie. That's right. We were just promoting it and I would not be talking to these amazing men that are on the phone mm -hmm. with me if it wasn't for Andrew Heller that connected me from a gift of the heart. This man has the biggest heart I know out in show business. And Andrew, hold on a second. Are the other guys on the line? Uh, yes, Devin yes. Foy is here. There you go. Hi. Well, we are super excited, and I've been sending shows over. And uh, Tell us, uh, everybody, while well, we have Andrew for a minute, uh, tell us what the uh, VH2 Network is all about. Uh, yes, ma'am. The VH2 Network is an open-air network, and we also have a license with Roku TV and Apple TV. And we basically are the network for the little guys. Um, as we worked the past 25 years in the uh, industry, we have seen a flux of really, really talented uh, movie producers in the past two years who've been sitting, submitting music, I mean, not music, but film, to uh, network televisions and off, also to Netflix, and uh, those shows are being rejected. So we um, partnered with a few partners, and we created VH2 Network, and now we are accepting a lot of those films that have been rejected by some of the major networks and also um, a lot of those films who have actually been uh, rejected from um, the Netflix process as well, too. Um, but we're also accepting new shows for shorts, uh, documentaries, comedy, uh, Christian-based shows. We are the network for the people. I'm excited. Did you like my commercial that I did for you? Oh, yes, ma'am. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's so great to promote the VH2 network. You know, uh, can you can you explain from the VH1 that they they had, that's no, going to be no longer, correct? No, that still is in existence. This was actually a subsidiary company, which was VH2, um, and we uh, retained the rights to that. And now we actually just created, so technically for a trademark standpoint of view, we created it and made it VH2 network. So I we wouldn't infringe any other uh, subsidiaries. 
Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Well, you know, I've got a special VIP guest calling in a minute. Um, Andrew, say hello to the guys that you connected me to. Hi, <laughs> gentlemen. Uh, nice to Good evening. To you. Good evening, Andrew. Good evening. Good evening to you, too. Uh, I know we have some questions that people are asking. What kind of format do they need to uh, have for the network? And uh, well, what, what we would like to see is that they go to our website, which is www.vh2.tv. Um, there's a submission form. Any information technically that they would need or questions that they would have, they would uh, go in and do a submission. And we have uh, Damon Kenning, which is our director of production, he will be able to answer those questions for them because we like to draw traffic to our department so we can actually speak with individuals directly. That's right. I know um, I have a special guest, Deborah Hampton. Has she called in yet, Peter? No, she hasn't. Okay, so Deborah Hampton, uh, she uh, has this song, I Want You to Hold On for a Minute, because you're going to be working with singers as well, correct? Uh, yes, ma'am, we are. Okay, let's play Deborah's song. Uh, this is for you. She's going to she's gonna actually submit a show as well. And uh, she said, have this for the guys. And I said, okay, I'm going to play this. So hold on. We'll be right back. Yes, it's life. You never left my side. And it's life. You'll always be. in my heart. I love you and I always will. You and I, I thought we'd always be yours forevermore. Through all eternity, but as they could see, no longer here with me. I love you Like you never left. I 
And that's Deborah Hampton. She's got Hollywood events down in Hollywood, Florida. So that was a song dedicated to you guys. And uh, thank you so much. So also, too, is we want you to stay on the line because we have, uh, uh, you know, Donnie Most is supposed to call in. And he told me he's got some TV shows and some things happening. So I'm excited about that. Uh, so can you tell us, um, when is the network launching? Uh, the, the, actually, the um, on-air and the local networks that we already have, they are actually already in place. We just really have kind of pulled all the older content off, and we're doing a relaunch on March the 18th in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, that's exciting. And, uh, you know, I, I've even talked to so many people, like my pastor and people that want uh, shows. Uh, the, the content, now, if they say they have one or two shows, we were talking that was okay because, you know, they're going to get more footage, uh, you know. Yeah. And I know we want them to bring whatever you know, whatever content they have. Reach out to us. Contact our, you know, like I said, our director of uh, production, and because uh, we're looking right now, we're looking for shows. We're looking for content. And first and foremost, Don, I want to thank you for allowing us to be on your show tonight and introducing us to your audience. And we here at VH2 Networks are looking forward to creating a wonderful, beautiful relationship with you and your team. Well, I have my producer, Peter Blake. Uh, you got his sports uh, show, everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, were you the one that saw it, that you said we want him? Yes, ma'am. Well, Peter, this is your deal. <laughs> yes, it is. Congratulations. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, my name is Peter Blake, and I host the only FM sports talk show in the Tampa Bay area on Saturday afternoons from 3 to 5. Bring your passion. Bring your excitement. Just don't bring any nonsense. I'm your host, Peter Blake, giving you something to think about. There you go. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Peter. Pleasure to meet you, too. So what did you think of Peter's show when you saw it? I loved it. And it's definitely the type of content that we're looking for. Right. Well, we got lots of content where that came from. Trust me, me and my co-host, uh, Sean the Sports Don, and all our callers and all our fans out there would love a national audience or, or just a, a platform to really show everybody what the sports web is all about. We call it the evolution of sports talk radio. We give your own walk-up music. We let you call in twice. And we don't hang up on you like those other sports talk shows do. <laughs> We always think outside the box. So we got lots of content oh, for you. Oh, come on, Peter. That's not true. You've hung on up on me before. Oh, not on my sports talk show. Three strikes and you're out. Oh, my I'm gosh. Kidding. Way to I'm throw kidding. me underneath the bus here. I don't here. know nothing about no sports, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> got to get you on there, man. Got to get you on there. Well, I, don't I can tell you, Peter, we're going to give rugby, you guys a home, okay? What now? I said I can tell you we're going to give you guys a home. Hey, Thank you. I love it. Absolutely love the opportunity. So I'm just excited about it. I'm, I'm excited for the future. And to work with VH2 Network, it'd be an absolute dream come true. Mm -hmm. I know. Thank it's you, very exciting. Also, we have our, our junior reporter. Uh, tell him a little bit about yourself. I want to get a teen show together and have her host it. And I've got some ideas. Say hello to the VH2 Network that we're going to be on. Tell me your name. Oh. Mariana Lintigato. And, and tell him what you do. I am a reporter for Hollywood Connections, and I love to interview professional singers and dancers and so many people. And she also holds a title. Tell us about your title. The International Role Model for Royal International Miss. It is based on community service, and that is something that I love to do. Wow, that's super cool. That and is wonderful. Oh, give this young lady a contract. Yes. <laughs> that's what I told her mother. I said, you're, you're in for a ride. It's going to be amazing. And uh, so, But, you know, in the meantime, before Donnie Most, if he happens to call in or he has messed up with the um, time change or something, I want you to hear his music. He wanted me to have you hear this as well, and I thank you for being patient. And Peter, no Peter, can we play the Saboom Bit Saboom with, um, with Donnie Most before he calls in? If he is there, I'm going to try to text him. All right, listen, we'll be right back. Say, Simon, lovers sail and friends when they thrill to romance. It means that it's so good. Stay. 
dear. Yes, dear. Oh, it's so great. Nothing else can replace. Just your slightest embrace. Well, guys, from VH2 Network Executives, guess what? Who's on the air? Wait, play a little intro there, Peter. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Don, you can't play that after playing that. I know, but we just have to, you like, we yes. love that song, yes. okay? Because a lot of people, I grew up with uh, Happy Days. We still watch it on TV. What I are you know. talking about? I know. Well, welcome to the show, Donnie Most. Uh, the swing band that he has is amazing. and uh... Thank you. Well, Donnie, we got Thank the... Thank you, Don. Thank you so much for calling in at last minute, because I thought of you, and I'm like, oh, my God, i got to get Donnie to talk to these guys. Mm-hmm. So, Donnie, you saw their website. What did you think? It looks very interesting. It looks like a very ambitious uh, enterprise they're taking on. And I'd love to hear more about, um, because it looks like they're looking for all kinds of content, you know, um, Mm -hmm. a a wide range of things, which is very interesting. Yes. There we are. So welcome. That's Donnie Bose. So the two of you can talk live on the air. Can you tell Donnie what you're exactly looking for? Yeah, as far as content, Donnie, we are, we're not limited to anything. We're open to all different types of content. Um, Because once we... That's great. Once we do our new launch, of course, as you when you go to the uh, VH2 networks, you'll have categories that you can go in and you can look at action, drama, independent, short, uh, Christian, comedy. Uh, we're looking, uh, we're particularly looking for, but we're not getting a lot of it now, but we're looking for kid content-based shows as well and cartoon um, networks as well, too. What was the first thing? You're looking for what? Uh, the, we're the, basically the looking for cartoons uh, because we're not uh-huh. getting, we're getting... We're getting wonderful uh, content, like fully completed movies, documentaries, but we would love to get more things that we can draw a kid's uh, audience as far as like cartoon-based I shows, see. animation, I see. and things right. of that nature. Now, are you, are you actually, I mean, so you're looking for projects that are, have been completed and then you're acquiring them, or are you also going to be involved in, in um, sort of producing uh, a content for, if you like, a you like a concept you like a, a pilot script for a tv show um do you have the ability to help produce that and so, because uh, obviously those things cost money okay. uh yes we do we have uh partnerships in of course atlanta la new york and we're looking to create new partnerships in chicago some of the other major metropolitan cities but i know right now we're we're home based out of atlanta we have uh contracts where right. we go we have a facility in atlanta but we have 
six contracts so we can go to bigger theaters to shoot, you know, different projects and things of that nature. And, of course, we're always looking, like I said, for content, and that means any type of content. Um, but if you have a show idea and you pitch it, we're more than welcome to sit down with you to look at it and discuss if that's something that we can move forward at this time as well, too. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, that sounds great. The um, ultimate and I business. And, and I definitely have content, uh, so we'll have to talk. <laughs> I hope so. I hope to hear from you real soon. <laughs> yes. Also, yeah, well, Don, well, Don, Don will be able to, uh, you know, facilitate mm-hmm. that. I would think, right? Yes, I am well, sending. Be able to put us in touch. Yes, I'm sending a lot of content over. I've already sent some things over that they just truly love and everything. Uh, and I know that we're excited to have you here. So I'm going to make sure that you get their hookup numbers after I'm done. And hold, hold on a All second, right, cool. Donnie. I do have my co-host that would like to say hello to you. Hi, Donnie. It's Jennifer sure. Hall, the mother of gratitude. How are you? Hi, Jennifer. Hi. I'm good. How are you? I love your music. I'm absolutely oh, in love you. with your music. Well, that's so great to hear. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, You're Jennifer. welcome. You're welcome. And also, Did we... Did you hear the whole CD? I didn't hear the whole uh, CD. Uh, they just... I said, who is this? And she goes, oh, Donnie Most. Uh, and I'm like, oh, my <laughs> gosh. Like, who would have who would have ever thunk that? <laughs> <laughs> Turn up the Donnie, AC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Devin. I'm taking so, the motion. I was so, actually so, literally dancing in my office. Oh. I was dancing in my chair. All right. Well, you know what's so great? All right, I love it. I think Donnie Mo should it. just have his own show, the Donnie Mo Show, and, oh, and with the swing yeah. band, and uh, just start getting all the footage you can for the network. I, I yeah, totally well, agree. Yeah, I, totally I agree. completely. Yeah, okay. Also, well, we, we're gonna have to. We definitely have to talk about that. Sounds like a board well, meeting just happened. I, I know. I concur. <laughs> I second that motion. We must do it. Well, this is what Hollywood Connections does. I want to introduce, as well as everybody's on the air. I know this is a surprise, and we mm-hmm. want to thank you. You have a restaurant. I do. And tell us where it's at. Uh, it's on Clearwater Beach. It's 432 Point Setia, called Detroit Coney Island. That's right. And they're bringing us some food here. And we tell everybody your name. My name is Barb Garasio. That's right, Barb. Guess who's on the air with us? Donnie Most. I hear it. How exciting is that? Now, what have you ever wanted? <laughs> Pretty to- <laughs> exciting. You have a whole fan club here in Who Tampa. Who would have known? <laughs> what would Your you- day just got better. <laughs> it did. What would you like to say to Donnie Most live on the air? Oh my gosh, I loved Happy Days. Anything that comes oh, to mind? You. Yeah, you know Scott Baio. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, well that- okay. Well, I'm not sure. Well, I won't even. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Let's talk about your restaurant. What kind of food you got? Uh, We are a Detroit-style restaurant, um, a Coney Island. I don't want to offend any of the New Yorkers because they take, you know, Coney Island very personally. We get it. Well, I grew up... I grew up 20 minutes from Coney Island, so I know it very well. Okay, great. Well, you know, Coney Island is basically a diner. So, you know, in New York, you have a Uh diner everywhere. We're in Michigan. You have a Coney Island basically on every corner. Mm -hmm. Uh, We ship in everything from Detroit. So it's a Detroit-style chili, Detroit hot dogs with a natural casing, um, everything Detroit-style. Detroit pop. We call it pop, not soda. Um, Completely authentic. Yeah, very authentic. And Donnie, she's going to have a show starting, and it's going to be called what? Love Your Life with Coach Barb G. I'm a life coach. Ooh. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you. Well, well, best of luck with all of that. And 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 the whole V2 thing sounds fantastic and thank you Don for, you know, giving me a heads up on this and inviting me on tonight and oh, and thank you. Um, and and we're going to have to follow up with all of what we discussed. We sure. will. I'll send you all their information afterwards for sure. But all right. Thank Wonderful. you. Thank you Donnie. Enjoy the music as well too, sir. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. That was done. All right, everybody, have a a great night. Thank you. You You know, I love his music. I want you to support him and download his music. I downloaded it on my Apple, and I can hear it in my car. Uh, I can hear it on my walks, you know. I can hear it in my my house, you know. So the artists that we have on the show, please download their music and make sure that you um, support them, and uh, that really uh, is a blessing to them as well. Yes, Peter? Got another guest on the line here. Yes, who's on the line? Welcome to Hollywood Connections. Oh, and no. they're, they're, I guess they're gone. Oh, no, yeah. we had so many questions. Oh, well, boy. we still have VH2 Network still on the air, and uh, we do have, you know, while you're here, uh, what are you going to be doing with artists, uh, with singers? 
Well, we have a uh, we have a uh, joint venture with Indie Live Show, which is a live musical show, eight years running, where we do tours throughout the United States, um, giving independent artists and a lot of former contestants from like the American Idol, X Factor duets, America's Got Talent, but also um, equivalent artists with that talent who maybe have never appeared on one of those shows. Wow, that's amazing. Well, while we have you on the air, and Andrew, you're still there? Did Andrew still... Oh, he, he hung up. Oh, he's in Atlanta, too. I didn't hang up on him. He hung up. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we love Andrew, gift of the heart dot com. Uh, so in the meantime, I want you to hear these this new group that they brought in, Barbara brought in. And uh, where are they from, Barbara? Barbara? Uh, originally from Inkster, Michigan. Okay. And what song? Now, tell us, set up the song for them, because they just told you what they're going to do for artists. Well, the song is called Luxury Living. It's basically a song telling about my life and my journey, you know, to be a good artist. Oh, wonderful. And what's the song that we're going to play? It's called Luxury Living. There we go. Luxury yeah. Living. All right, Peter, we're ready. And I want you guys to listen. We're right back. Baby, if the lady rains me a south side, baby. Uh, from the south side, baby. 500 block, I rip the south side, baby. My new, my new, my new girl ballin', I don't mess with bro women. Went from section A and now I'm luxury living. Chopping, chopping up them plans with my bro, I'm in the kitchen. Keep right at the Florida, it was right on Thanksgiving. But my music across the border, it don't matter where I'm living. You know I'm a poor bitch. Diamonds, diamonds got me froze, all designer got me drippin' I ain't worried about the maters, all I'm worried about is keep me All I'm worried about is keep me, all about my business Girl, you know my shawty, so don't worry about who is this Pretty man, baby, girl, you know that I'm shizzin' People try to play me, but I swear I'm gon' forgive them Breaking down the AV, bout to throw that in the sweet shit Hold up, baby, girl, you call my eye, you got me wishing. Hoping you're thinking about all the things that I'm feeling. Like to get you back to my room and how you dripping. Girl, this ain't the rigid, this right here gon' how you lift it. Every time I'm person in me, sing, they say I'm gifted. That's that motivation right there that they keep on getting me. Free my brother Marcus, man, I swear we won't forget you. No, man, I swear we won't forget you. No. And I swear we won't forget you And I swear we won't forget you No, no, yeah My new girl ballin', I don't mess with bro women We're from sex and me and now I'm luxury living Choppin', choppin' up them plans with my bro and I'm in the kitchen Keep right at the Florida, it was right on Thanksgiving But my music cross the border, it don't matter where I'm living You know I'm a poor up, it don't matter what we sip Diamonds, diamonds got me froze all day Wow, amazing. Thank you. Have you been on the radio before? No, this is my first time. So how does it feel? It feels good. Doesn't those magical yeah. headsets feel great? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. Well, I know we still have our VH2 network executive still on the line, and uh, we wanted to, I know Barbara has a question, and also Jen has a question for you for the network. Okay, go ahead. All right, who's first? Oh, here we go. Oh. Now, what areas are your shows going to be airing? Well, on the VH2 Roco Network, you'll be able to access that anywhere in the United States as long as you have a 
a smart TV or a smart uh, smartphone. So now can anybody send you ideas for a show? How does that work? Yeah, if you go to www.vh2.tv, there is a uh, submission for ideas tab that you can submit. There's also a release form, and there's other forms that we have uh, for producers and writers. Because, you know, I'm telling you, I think you need to come down to Clearwater yeah, Beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because there are some real characters on Clearwater Beach. If you want a great show, <laughs> come down to Detroit Coney Island, Still and we can introduce you to some people. Radio <laughs> station. He doesn't have to go anywhere. He no, I'm us. looking for reality shows. Yeah, so is that an invitation? <laughs> that yes, is an invitation. Is. <laughs> Come on down. You want to meet some interesting people, we'll introduce them to you. It would be a great show. Hey, I am Dawn. so excited about this. Um, and I'm, uh, Dawn, can you hear me? Can you hear him? Oh. Yeah, you're live on the air. He has a question. Hey, Dawn, Dawn. I yes, do okay, want to show the, the, I'm here. The, young, it's, it's the young man that you have in the uh, audience tonight that we just heard, heard his music. Yes. I would like for him to go to ILS Hip Hop. Um, dot com and submit his information so someone can give him a call. That would be great. That's, That's why fun. we have Hollywood Connections to be discovered. I'll tell you, we are super excited because we're putting a talent search together for talent singers and actors. And uh, we want, that's where we're going to help you as well filter all this young, amazing talent over to you. So I, I do appreciate that. And I would love to partner with you guys on that. Absolutely. All right. We're, we're excited because me and Jen just cut that commercial and we're you know, looking for a lot of talent, so that's an opportunity. Uh, you know, Steven Seagal has a new song out, too, called Girl, It's All Right. And, uh, yeah, we've been promoting his music. He's in Taiwan shooting a movie right now. Uh, I don't know if we can find it later, but uh, we'll maybe end with that, Peter. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but in the meantime, Jen has a question for you. Hold on. Okay. We're live I'm, on the air. I am so excited about the opportunity um, for this to come together because this, was total, this is completely Hollywood connection, the ultimate with with Dawn, <laughs> Donnie most and everything, um, the most. I've submitted um, to you uh, Chef Brian, who, is, uh, who wants to help with um, families, single-parent families, coming up with healthy okay. alternatives and stuff. And I'm helping produce um, Gray Room Haven's Mill. That's kind of like where Twin Peaks meets The Omen. And we've, okay. we've done some shorts right now. It's actually right now I'm supposed to be on set, um, and I'm not because I'm with Dawn. Um, but we're filming, we're filming all this week our second episode. And I'm very excited because of all the connections that we do have. We'll be, we'll be sending them your way. Please do so. And I thank you for taking the time to join Don so we could actually meet tonight. Oh, thanks. There's nothing like it. <laughs> we knew we were going to be on the radio together one way or another. <laughs> now, uh, also, too, uh, I do have another question. And uh, we were talking about this on your website. Uh, it says radio. Now, are you working with other radio stations as well around the United States for artists? Uh, yes, ma'am, we, we are. We have, um, right now we have, comp we have in Connect, where we're working with about 10 uh, radio stations. Those are live radio stations. And we have about 20 online radio stations that we're about to partner with. Gotcha. And I know I've been hooking you up with Lola, our station owner, here on some private stuff, and we're working those out as well. And hold on, I know our, our reporter has a question for you, right? You have a question? Okay, yes, you do. You, we have a teen show that we're going to put together. And uh, tell, tell them how old you are again. I am nine years old. Nine years old. So I think a nine-year-old uh, preteen teen show would be great, you know? I, I, I totally agree. All right. Also, too, um, Barbara has a couple questions also about the, the network. Uh, you, we were talking just a little bit before the show, and we were saying that, you know, we wanted to find out what other cities um, was it going to be in, and then um, is it an hour show, a month show? Uh, is that something that you can tell us, you know, what is the con – I know it's 24 hours, but it would be – Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so right now, because we're launching in Atlanta, we have on um, open-air network. That's 24 hours a day that we can launch shows. Of course, we have our um, license with our local network channel, which that's 24 hours a day anywhere in the United States. As long as you have a um, smart TV, a smartphone, you can download the app and you can go to VH2 uh, Network and you can watch any show um, that's on the, uh, the network. Right now, we're currently working um, with some other, other cities, like, of course, New York, Chicago. We're looking at Miami. The Carolinas and New York um, trying to secure a license for or open air networks in those markets as well too. Amazing. 
So, uh, you know, we have uh, so much talent here. You know, I'm on the red carpet of so many events, and a lot of film directors are popping on right now on Facebook Live. And uh, they're saying, please send my stuff over. And I said, yes, I'll send their stuff over as soon as I get it. Now, feature films, what are you looking for in format-wise um, that they can send over? Uh, yes. We're, like I said before earlier in your show, we're open to any type of content. Uh, we are receiving a lot of completed films. Uh, we have films that, uh, I guess, production companies have shot and pitched to Hollywood, and those shows were not accepted or rejected. We're getting shows, uh, reality TV shows that were um, filmed and actually submitted to network televisions, uh, pitched to network televisions, but got rejected. So, of course, those individuals, those production companies, are still looking for a place to house their content, and we are we are getting submissions every day. We are accepting those submissions, um, and we're looking for any other type of completed projects as well, too. I think the young lady earlier said that they were shooting shorts, so mm -hmm. we're looking for short documentaries, completed film. It doesn't matter. Well, I just talked to another person. I think we have Shy Figaro still on the line, right? Uh, I want to welcome Shy Figaro. He's a top designer to the major <coughs> artists and stars as well. Has a documentary, and he's amazing. Uh, so Shy probably wants to connect with you as well. He's going to do something called Shy Girls and a big contest. Shy, welcome to the show for a minute. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm great. Hi, Hello. So say hi to our VH2 Network TV that we're going to be on. Pardon? Okay, is, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, you're... got a little cut off here. Yeah. Sorry. You're, you're live on the air, so um, say hi to our VH2 network. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> We're good tonight, Sean. How are you, sir? I am so excited. I, I've been listening, and, you know, there's some great, great uh, opportunity there for everyone, not just I, but a lot of people um, um, can be pretty much take advantage of that. So I think you're doing an amazing thing. So thank you. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about your show. Well, my show is pretty much uh, a reality TV show called The Shy Girls. It's uh, a group of uh, promotional girls that we are putting together. All I will need from them is just the height. And from there, we will d develop them to become a high-end model. But the difference is we don't just want them to be a beautiful model, but we are looking for brain. They have to be smart. So from there, they're going to go through a process of uh, we're going to test their, test their knowledge, um, see how smart they are. So we want them to be all around full blood, like beautiful, amazing models. So pretty much putting like together is like American Idol, Project One Way, uh, all those top TV shows put together. Because uh, once I, I realized, uh, for example, other TV, uh, reality TV show out there, they're kind of very limited. They don't really show you the, the full aspect of uh, the modeling or even the fashion designers. So that's where we come in. We're going to show the whole thing, uh, the feeding, the audition, the casting, the uh, photo shoot. I mean, you name it, it's going to be in the show. So right now, we've been doing a lot of uh, casting, and now we are preparing to shoot the scissor reel. So, I love the concept, so please do me a favor, Don. Make sure he gets my contact information. I would love to hear more about the show, and I would definitely love to uh, see some of the footage once you guys actually start shooting. Also, his, doc awesome, yeah, awesome. his documentary from Haiti, I'm going to ship it over to you. Actually, he's going to send it over because I have one copy. <laughs> but okay, great. That's amazing. Also, too, hold on, guys. Um, uh, our newest uh, group here, uh, he has a question about uh, a TV show, if he puts it together and his concept. Tell me your name again. Yeah, I'm the credit man back again, you know. <laughs> I was wondering uh, if we could do like a hip-hop show at the Detroit Coney Island. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think could, it would yeah, be great. Yeah, we could put that together, definitely. I'm telling yeah, you, we're going to have to just... Oh, I'm sorry. We put it together we... and you get it to us, we'll take a look at it. And then some, um, most of the time what happens, so your viewers will know, is that if, they, if it's submitted and it comes over... They may not be getting a call directly from me, but they will be getting a call from Mr. DeMorne Kenny. Right. Um, and he is the director of production. So normally if something gets submitted, it goes to his department first. They review it. And then, of course, we come in at a later date and we look at, the, uh, look at everything that's been submitted that day or within the next two or three days. Okay. Oh, that's exciting. You're, you're getting them all excited. How old are you? 24. I love your cross that you have on. Thank that that means a lot to me, and I see that, and that's really special. Thank you know, also, too, is, um, you know, we uh, actually have to go to the Tampa Bay Film Society commercial, uh, and uh, they support us, and I'm going to be actually going to speak with them very soon. And uh, there's a lot of film directors, and uh, 
We also have the International Christian Film Festival coming up. Peter, we have to play that commercial as well. Can you guys hold on for a second so we can help our sponsors play that? We'll be right back. Let me get it up here. (laughs) Oh, Peter. Yeah, I sent a whole email. I'm always organized. I have everything in an email. Did you see my email today, Peter? Everything's perfect. (laughs) I got you right here. Here it comes. (laughs) We'll be right back. So, you say you want to be an actor, director, producer, screenwriter, film crew, whatever. Now what? How can you make this happen? Easy. It's called networking. After all, sometimes it's not what you know, but who you know that brings you that big break. And one of the best ways to get that break is to, you got it, network. One of the smartest places to start your networking is to come to the Tampa Bay Film Society meetings. Tampa Bay Film Society is an organization that will create opportunities for you to get educated through some great programs and workshops, learn about productions coming up, as well as offer you opportunities to advance your career and meet others already in the industry who will remember you when the time comes. Yes, our bi-monthly general meetings is a great way to network with other industry people. How do you start? Just come to one of our meetings, enjoy it, and sign up as a member. You get discounts on Tampa Bay Film Society workshops and special events just as a starter. And you never know who you'll meet at one of our general meetings when you're out there networking. And best of all, it's fun. So check us out on our website at www.tampabayfilmsociety.com. And welcome back to Hollywood Connections. I'm Jennifer Hall, mother of gratitude, and you are listening to Don Reese, the ultimate Hollywood Connections tonight. <laughs> well, we call it, what is it? We told Socrates the other day when he prayed over us, instead of Hollywood Connections, we're going to call it Hollywood Connections. Yes. <laughs> Because it's all God. God's the one that does the timing and everything, and that's important. And, Peter, I do need to play the International Christian Film Festival. Uh, if you are looking for an amazing film uh, you know, to go to, these are about 150 film directors in one spot casting for their shows. David Arrow White will be there from you know, uh, his Pure Flex. We have so many other directors and Stephen Baldwin and major, major celebrities and film directors. I'm always on the red carpet. We're really excited to be a part of this again this year with Marty and... Uh, So here we go. We'll be right back, guys. This is the best film festival I've been to yet. I have met people from South Africa, Australia, Lagos, Nigeria, Switzerland, England, all over the United States and Canada. really impressed with the amount of people here, the amount of uh, friendly and uh, encouraging networking uh, vibe that I've uh, gotten here. It, it's amazing. It's like, you know, you have art, you have creativity, and you have the spiritual aspect of it. But just like I said last year, I said this is like the, the Christian Oscars, so it's really exciting. I love it. I'm, this is my home festival, so I'm going to continue coming every year. Honestly, is an event that is the Academy Awards, and I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm just so excited. This is great. It's an amazing electric environment. Uh, people are genuine and friendly and outgoing. They're just real. Even if you're not in the industry, you should come to this. <laughs> and again, that is uh, the International Christian Film Festival, and it's amazing. Also, want to uh, shout out to BeamingHopeChurch.org. You're looking for a church to land. Amazing. Go there in Largo. Uh, church service is tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. And one more sponsor we have is MyPillow.com. Please go to MyPillow.com and put in promo code BEACH to support our show, and that helps a lot And you sleep well, as I do, especially I have to get another pillow. My dog just ate my stuffing out of one. No. <laughs> It was such a delicious pillow. I know. Like, <laughs> my husband said, it's your my pillow. I said, no, it's uh, Sandy Beach's pillow. <laughs> well, I want to also, guys, uh, thank you so much. And uh, I will be sending so much uh, footage over for so many shows and movies. And before we go, um, we have to say thank you <laughs> to our food that's out there. But you're in Clearwater Beach. And uh, Dante, tell everybody where your place is at. It is on Clearwater Beach. Uh, the official address is 432 Poinsettia Avenue. But we are just off Mandalay, across from the Hilton Hotel. You can't miss it. That's right. And also, tell us of the specials that you have for the week. Uh, you've got uh, Mondays were closed, 
Mm-hmm. So do not show up on Monday. That's family day. That's family day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tuesday, everything's two dollars on Tuesday. All the Coney dogs. Two dollar Tuesdays. Yeah, two dollar Tuesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, we do all kinds of burger specials because uh, if you ask Siri on your iPhone, the best burger on Clearwater Beach, she'll tell you Detroit Coney Island. Nice. And then uh, Thursday, we do drink specials. Friday is Fish Fry Friday. That's a big deal because we ship in fish from back home. Perch, walleye, stuff really? you don't get down here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And your website and your phone number. Uh, actually, the best way to find us is uh, on Facebook, Detroit, Coney Island, Clearwater Beach. You can't miss it. Well, we have somebody, we have some background noise. I don't know if somebody's watching TV while they're listening to us. <laughs> I don't know, Peter. We have to delete them off the air. I'm not sure who that is. I hope it's not our network. <laughs> I hope that's not Chris. No, no. <laughs> so, but yeah, there's extra echo back there. But also, tell us about your wife's show that's coming up. Yes. Yeah, my God. <laughs> are you excited? The show, yes. We are <laughs> actually very excited. She's got, uh, I mean, she's a life coach. She's been talking about, uh, uh, you know, what's, what's the next step for her, what she's going to do. And right. uh, this Love Your Life, uh, I mean, it's going to be incredible. Really? Wow, you know, and uh, you know what's really great is me and my husband actually one day after I was going down uh, working on some meetings, and he goes, I have to try this new place. And we went over there, and your daughter was serving us, and I looked. She was so professional and so amazing, and um, she put extra cheese on my hot dog, which I loved. <laughs> uh, but I We're going to have to let it go for that one. That one's coming out of her check. Uh, it looked like yeah. it was extra. Okay, it was. It looked, looked, looked like it was extra. But um, anyway, Extra love. <laughs> extra love. Extra love. Yes. And so I told her, I said, we have a show, and, and that's how it all happened happened and then i brought you over and now your Honest wife has to a God, show. it's incredible lola's been incredible you've been i mean like uh, it's unbelievable i just really appreciate your artist here today and that's what hollywood listen, connections does i'm telling you right now you gotta wa- listen i don't listen to hip-hop but i'm telling you right now i will listen to that this guy mm-hmm. is the next <laughs> up and coming you got to have him back on your show because yes he is uh gosh, I, I don't even know what to say he's incredible he's really is. And how, has how old on. is he again 24. He looks like he's 17, yeah, really. He's got them glasses that. on. He's uh, that smile. He's uh, wow. I mean, he's so smooth in his stuff. And he can sing. He can actually sing. Well, the we still have sing. VH2 Network on the air with us. What would you like to say to them within a minute? Listen, 758 Dreezy, he goes by the Cruddy Man. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to get him to do a radio show called the Cruddy Man Hour. I'm okay. telling you. The Cruddy this Man guy, Hour. Yes. This guy can feature not only his own music, but there's a lot of artists that Tried to hook up with this guy to have him do collaboration. This guy is really good. Nice. Well, we, we all, this goes so fast. Mm-hmm. And, and I want to thank the VH2 Network and everybody that I've been working with over there. And Andrew from A Gift of the Heart, please help his movie and get it funded so he can get his word out there. Um, I, I want to thank you guys. Who's still on the air with us? Uh, Don, Devin is here. I want to, so first of all, again, thank you so much for allowing us to join the uh, your show tonight and you introducing us to your audience. We do appreciate it here at VH2 Network, and we look forward to working with you, your team, and anyone in the Tampa, Florida area that you have shows that you submit uh, to. We're here, and we're your network as well, too, okay? Oh, we love it. We love it, and I'm just so ecstatic. And if this would not have happened if it wasn't for Andrew from A Gift of the Heart, and I'll tell you, just the name, A Gift of the Heart, uh, like I said, please help donate to him as well. Uh, Thank you so much, everybody. Remember, give all God the glory and honor in your life and watch things happen and put your tennis shoes on because I want to thank Socrates yesterday for helping us. And the reason Peter has the Pink Panther on is because I named my car Panther and I'm wearing pink. So... (laughs) It's perfect. It's pink, perfect. Pink Panther. All you are right. blessed, you are loved, and you are sacred. That's right. And we are looking to have you on our next audition to be on the show. And you could be on this network, a new TV network. Thank you so much. God bless. And thank you for being here, everyone. Bye. 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 WTAN, Clearwater, FM 106.1, WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay, WZHR, Zephyr Hills, FM 104.3. Listen. Another Michigan investigation. I'm Richard Johnson. 
Some campaign funds could be coming up a bit light in the next few weeks as some Republicans think about giving back some contributions. As it plays itself out, uh, I think we'll find there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of questions raised about who's received money from Steve Wynn. California Democrat Congressman John Garamendi notes a lot of Democrats returned contributions from movie producer Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Steve Wynn has denied new allegations. He sexually abused female employees at his casinos. But he did resign today as Finance Committee Chair of the Republican National Committee. Michigan's Attorney General Bill Schutte says he's going to investigate how the leaders at Michigan State University handled students' claims of sex abuse. And he says he is not interested in any advice from members of the school's board. Frankly, they should be the last ones to be providing advice given their conduct throughout this entire episode. Their conduct throughout this entire episode, speaks for itself. Shooty promises a prompt, thorough, and transparent investigation since former athletic director Dr. Larry Nasser's sentencing on charges.